Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy the videos. You have to say thank, thank you. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Bob. I'll give you a tour of my car. It's a 1955 Buick Century. It's got a 322 nail head, original motor. One of the first cars that would do 100 miles an hour out of production. So it's kind of cool. Um, I've had this car for 17 years now, I believe, something like that. Bought it originally from a guy in Colorado, but it was originally from North Carolina. So I think I'm the fourth owner on it. Uh, one of the things to look for in the uh, Buicks, when you have the larger motor, you'll have the four portals. So that's a sign of the larger motor, the 322. Usually that's on the Century or the Roadmaster. This is a repaint, but the color is close to what it originally was. It was a two-tone. You have to forgive me, it's a little dirty. Um, same with the interior. We've got a new interior in here, but it's kind of the same color scheme that was on it. So um, it's a lot of fun to drive. Everything's original in here. Um, there's been real no modifications outside of, again, just a little bit different interior. The interesting thing is the headliner is original. So that is all original from 1955, yeah. So if you come around the back, um, again, um, Lighted gas, which is always fun. Um, so what I always like about these is the big bumpers. Lots of chrome on these. Um, the fins. You come around this way here. Again, this is what's called a four-door hardtop. And it's called a four-door hardtop because it doesn't have a post in the middle. So if I take this door and I roll this window down, like so, you'll notice that now the car has no post in the middle. So... That's why it's called a hard top. Okay. Gives you kind of a little bit different look. Sure. So, a little two tone. One of the things my kids love about it is that I couldn't lock the windows on them. They can roll them down themselves. Right, right, right. So, yeah, that's... power steering, power brakes. Um, so, it's got a lot more features than a Chevy. A lot of people go after the Tri Fives. I kind of like the Buick because it. How much does the car weigh? It's about 5,000 pounds, a little over 5,000 pounds, I think, yeah. So one of the things I think, I don't know if you can get a shot of this, but if you come in here, this is original. It's hard to see in the mirror that's pulled down, but it's, it says Buick is a beauty too. So it's meant to be for the uh, wife at the time to right, see that right. when she looked in the mirror and did her lipstick. Sure. And what I like about this uh, year is the, uh, the detail. Yep, the yeah, lots of chrome on this. The windshield wipers are driven by a vacuum, oh, wow. so they uh, don't work when you take off, and as you take off, they start to go. <laughs> Um, still has the original, what's nice if you look, the glass bottle for the windshield washer fluid oh, is still in there. Mosquitoes too? Oh yeah. There you go. And then uh, just a recap on the, uh, the Re engine. Recap on the engine, it's a, uh, it's a 322 nail head uh -huh. and the reason it's called a nail head is that the heads they basically come straight up on it so it's not like on a V8 okay. where they're kind of more of an angle right, right, so I the heads it. come straight up on the valve covers. This is an oil bath air cleaner, so you put oil in there to clean it. Oh, do you? Okay. Yep. And again, power steering, power brakes um, were pretty much, um, you know, sure. Buick was the luxury car. And I see Still you put, is. I see you put an electric fan in Put an electric fan. I have a little problem with it overheating at times, so sure. did a little modification on that to try and keep it. But that's pretty much it about the car. There you go. And thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. We appreciate it.